Hey everybody, Jim Perry from Reach here. I'm out for a walk with Bentley along the Root River in Stewartville at Bear Cave Park. The act of bullying is defined as a repetitive action from one person toward another um, that results in an imbalance of power. That can be tearing that person down for something that they um, think or that they believe in or the person that they are. Um, but the intent is to do harm and to create an imbalance of power. In middle school, there were two bullies that they bullied me relentlessly for several years. Um, this was a uh, physical bullying. They really never called me names, although they did, I suppose, as a part of uh, beating me up. But from seventh grade through, oh, uh, part of 10th grade, um, they beat me up every chance that they got and it resulted definitely in an imbalance of power. I would avoid these people. If I was uh, walking home after school, I was very careful to not be on a street or in an area where I was afraid they might be. Um, that was the imbalance of power. And it impacted how I felt about myself and my worth. Um, that was bullying. And I really didn't see an out. Um, I didn't tell anyone, but, Interestingly enough, I went out for track the spring of my 10th grade year, and I found some very early success and was one of our top distance runners. And the, it was kind of weird. The bullying stopped almost immediately. Well, what I was unaware of was that imbalance of power that had been happening was removed by the football players on the track team. Um, they, they were completely aware that this bullying was taking place and they let these two individuals know that it was ending right there and right then or they would be taking care of it. That was the end of the bullying for me in school. Never once happened again. At the time I felt like I was completely alone, but it turns out there were many others in my situation who were be being bullied by these two individuals. I didn't realize till later on, they really, they were picking on me because they saw me as a um, weak person because of the situation that I was growing up in. But again, I didn't realize until later on that they both had it far worse than I did in their homes. And when I realized that, I forgave them. Um, I didn't tell them that in person, but um, I forgave them because I felt sorry for whatever happened in life that put them in that position where they felt like they needed to do that to me. About the same time, and for many, many years, my dad bullied his family. Um, there was physical abuse toward my mom for 37 years. There was mental and emotional abuse and neglect that took place um, to all of the members of the family. Um, and we all, again, felt like we were alone. It wasn't something that we shared with others. And we didn't have anyone that we felt like we could tell. Um, at the time, families just didn't leave the breadwinner. Um, my brother got out first. He was in high school and he finally had enough and he left. My mom and I got out soon after that. And as I had suspected, the same with him, his situation growing up was far worse than the one that I grew up in. Every single kind of abuse that could happen in the home happened to him at the hand of his parents. And I feel sorry for him for that happening and what happened to him in life that made him feel like he needed to take it out on us. Around other people, he was a very, very, very likable person. It was at home where he took out his frustrations through that bullying. So bullying doesn't just happen when someone's in school. It can actually happen into adulthood. Um, I, in fact, have been the recipient, the victim of a bullying over the last couple of weeks. Um, this bullying has been taking place online from someone who is a member of a group that I follow on Facebook. Um, I'm not going to get into too many details here, but the difference now being this person was looking for an imbalance of power, um, calling me names, judging um, possibly some beliefs that I have, some things that I've done that by no means are wrong, um, and looking for an imbalance of power through that. And again, I, I'm 
I feel bad that this person, whatever's happened to him in life, has put him in a position where he needs to look for people that he feels are weak. Uh, I'm not the first person that he's done this to. Um, but the difference is, there is no imbalance of power in this situation. Um, I'm not letting him have that. Uh, he's been blocked on social media. Um, he's been reported to the people um, in that group that are in charge of uh, admin of that page. And I am not letting him have power over me. That is the big difference. He does not have power over me. It is never okay, ever, for anyone to ever treat anyone like that. Hold on here, my hands are getting cold. It is never okay for anyone to ever treat anyone like that. Um, that's the difference. I'm not allowing him to have that power. I've removed him from any way being able to do that. Um, and I get to move on. Again, I feel sorry for him um, and whatever's happened that has put him in that position. My challenge for you today, um, if you're ever being bullied, you need to find someone to talk to. Um, I felt alone, again, even this week when I was being bullied and wasn't sure if I even wanted to say anything to anyone. Um, doesn't end unless you find someone to talk to. You don't necessarily need their help, but you need to be able to at least let someone else know what's going on. Um, and then you need to end that relationship. That imbalance of power is something that you can take control of in order to end it. And you also need to let someone know if it's not something that you are able to take care of on your own. Um, I am no worse for the wear because of the bullying over the last couple of weeks from this man. Um, honestly, I don't care. Um, I took care of my end of the deal and I've let others know that he is likely going after others um, to do the same thing and they can take care of it themselves. Um, it's not always easy to forgive bullies. Forgiveness doesn't mean that you're acknowledging that what they've done is okay. It doesn't mean that you are allowing that action to happen. But what it does mean is that you at least are making an attempt to understand that obviously there's a reason why they're doing this. Um, I truly believe there are very few evil people in the world. I believe that what happens to people in this life sometimes forces them or makes them feel like they need to treat others uh, in a manner like this. Um, that doesn't mean that it's okay. Um, I let this person know that it wasn't okay. I um, also kind of expressed my opinion that I wasn't really wanting to get into um, this argument in the first place. Um, let him know that um, I, I'm not that kind of a person uh, and I was going to be moving on, um, which upset him even more. It's okay to say no. It's okay to let that bully know that you're not going to accept that and that you're not going to let an imbalance of power happen. But again, I acknowledge it is very difficult. Seek out the help and the support that you might need if this is the case in your life. I wish you well. Talk to you soon.